Hey, good evening and welcome back to Candid Talk with Lexi Love and Valentina versus Valentino. How are you this evening? You know what? I'm good. Um, can't really complain. You know, what good is it going to do, as I say? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, our topic of our podcast tonight is... Shoot. <laughs> talk about sex. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about sex, yeah, baby. Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> let's talk about you and me. So, yes. Yeah. So, before we get started... We decided to go, you know, just casual and just chill and just have a nice pink glass of wine this evening. So it's um, actually, I'm not going to say the brand, but I typically like, well, I typically drink, have been drinking wines like Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Merlot, mm -hmm. Blase Blase, but um, I wanted to do something sweet. So it is watermelon flavor. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's hot today. So again, yeah, we I just, feel like we just can't get away from the We can't get away from the drinks. tropical tropical drinks. Yeah. It's actually room temperature right now, but um, I think white wine and pink wine... Actually, it's better drunk, drunk, <laughs> drank when it is cool. You know, that's yeah. been in the refrigerator for a while, but this it's is good. Mm -hmm, it, it's a popular cool. brand. Y'all know it, but we just don't. Yeah, we do, do not brands. advertise the brand. Right. So, yeah, it's just better unless we get paid. Right. So, yeah, again, we appreciate anyone that is supporting us here on our podcast, especially buying our tumblers. And like I said, these things are awesome. Um, if you put something in there cold, it's going to stay cold. If you put something in hot, it's going to stay hot for a long time. So go to wealthcity.shop where you can get it. And like I said, the more you buy, the bigger the discount. So before we get started, actually, before we get started, started, do you have any pet peeves? Do you have anything exciting to talk about before we get started with let's talk about sex? Um, no, not really. <laughs> just, you know, just been a regular week for me, y'all, you know. Well, like your outfit, it is, this is def, she is definitely has picked up the vibe of Atlanta. Like, this you is all, so? yeah, this is like all Atlanta vibe right here. Well, I guess I got to get with the new vibe with the West yeah, Coast. Yeah, with the West Coast, eventually, yes. So, yes. yeah. So, yeah, so, um... For me, pet peeve or anything exciting happen. I actually had a dun dun kind of week. Yeah, you, you did. know, I just kind of just like, you know, my pet peeves. You know, my pet peeves has always been. I don't like liars. I don't like two faced people. Right. And that's what I've been dealing with pretty much all this week. And I have no idea where that energy is coming from. So it's causing me to like you know, just put a bubble around me because I'm just like, there's a lot of dark energy right. that has been attacking me this last week. So yeah, just, oh, so I'm trying to bring my, right. trying to bring my energy up, but I mean, you know, anything good. I mean, you know, the regular doing auditions, getting callbacks, doing that whole thing. So, you know, that's just, the life that I, that I lead. But right. yeah, this, this week was pretty. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we're going to take it a little different direction. We're going to do a little bit of facts and then we're going to do opinions and with questions that I have. Okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah. yeah. Cause she kind of don't know what, you know, I just told her what the title of the podcast was right. and then she was like, Oh, do I gotta, do I gotta do some research? No, I, I did all the research, but you know, I just, I like to talk about it. I think when we talk about relationships, um, we always talk about what we want out of relationships, but you know, we kind of skim over not talking about sex. Right. And I think sex is a big deal in a relationship, any, any relationship that you get into. Right. So first off, um, I'm going to say that you now this is, I will give you, I got these facts off of different, um, websites. So I will try to remember to um, quote them. But it says 49% of people have had sex on the first date. What? 
Yes, and men are more open to it than women. 49%, that's like, that's a big, I mean, that's I don't know. almost half. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much half. Yeah, so I don't know if they, if they just measured it by just they having first time, you know, they going out and they having sex and then not having a relationship with them anymore, right. or they're having sex and they end up being in a relationship. I mean, because to me, one night stands is different than having sex on a right. date and continuing the relationship. Right. So I really, I didn't want to go too deep because that would take too long and I would feel like that I'm preaching to the audience. Right. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's like, wow. I don't, yeah. I, I personally have never had sex on the first date. Never, never. I've never. I, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I never have. But well, I'm just gonna say that we're not gonna put. We're not trying to put you on the spot. But uh, I don't care. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean. Some people just like I said, like they. Yeah. But I've never. I never had the desire. I never had because I'm just you know I'm a hopeless romantic anyway. So it's kind of like I need you. I need to get some more feelings from you than it's my. It, I, not saying that I don't think about it or be like, oh my gosh, I would love to, but. Right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. It's more meaningful. It's got to be more meaningful. Yeah, it, it does. I mean. So you never just like slept with somebody just because it's been a while or you're just. Oh, I didn't say it's that. Just attracted to them. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I just said that the first, you're just like, meh. Right. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, I didn't want, yeah. Yeah, okay. This, yeah. You know, and then, you know, just sometimes you'll have, you know, that that'll happen or you'll have intercourse with this person and then you're like, ew, I don't, I don't like this person. I don't know if that's ever happened. Okay, no, because if I'm going to have sex with you, <laughs> then there's going to be something there. Like it's never just random or just, it's never just anybody random. There's, there's definitely a connection there for sure. It has to be. Well, I mean, there may be a... I mean... <sighs> ah, I take that back. Yeah, yeah, pull. Go ahead and pull it back. I think about my life for a second <laughs> and, and the things, the, the, the kind of jobs that I've had. Uh -huh. I wasn't a prostitute, y'all. But, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... I mean, no, I'm saying that I've had... I, I've, and this is past, past. We're talking past. We all have a past. All of us have skeletons in our closet i mean anybody who acts like they don't they still five so <laughs> right yeah because i mean we in 2023 so yeah i mean if you've lived you know a few decades you got a pass right then you know so but yeah i mean i've had a relationship with someone uh, mentally you know and and talking to them and then it ended up being intimate and i was like hmm i don't i don't like this person and I think maybe, maybe, and, and maybe I'm being shallow. I think the sex wasn't that great, so okay. it kind of like. And I feel like that's a deal breaker for most people. Like they want to, not necessarily get into it so quickly, but it's just a matter of okay, well that's important. So mm -hmm. if I don't like what you're doing, then it's kind of like I can't see myself with you. Yeah. It's like you can't move forward. Yeah, especially like. when it's the first or second time. That you've right. been, I mean, you know, everybody, and, and we're going to keep moving forward, but, you know, I just yeah. want to talk about this. I mean, it's different when you've been in a relationship with someone for, and it's not like always, always going to be like fireworks every single time. It's right. not going to be. That's just the way it is. But right. the first or second time that you have, you know, had be intimate with this person, and it's like, hum, dum, da dum, I wish they'd hurry up. Right. Yeah. Then yeah, that's like just, there's just, not there's nothing to go from there. There's right. no, nothing to go. It's it's like it's gonna get worse as far as I'm concerned. If it's like super fireworks, at some point you're gonna know. Okay, it might die down a little bit, and then it'll go back up and die down, go back up. Right. But if it's just dead on right. the first or second time, then it's kind of like yeah. you know blah. But um, I want to. This is from Bed Bible Research Center. And this was taken back in September 2022. And, you know, we're, 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 we're going to include everybody. It doesn't matter, heterosexual, gay, uh, bisexual, whatever. We're, we're going to include everybody. So it says gay men are twice likely to have sex on the first date compared to their straight counterparts. I found that very interesting. I, 
I, I did. I, I don't know why um, it's that way. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, that could be just something that, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to get too in because I don't, I don't know right, that lifestyle. Really, like, yeah, I don't know that lifestyle, so I don't know why. But that's just what they, when they did the survey, that's what they said in the, the what is it, Bible, Bed Bible Research Center. So that's right. where I got that statistic from. And then it says divorcees are more likely than singles who've never been married to have sex, to have sex on the first date as well. So somebody who is divorced, married, and then they, they're single again, they're right. more likely to have sex on the first date than someone who's single and never right. been married. So, and it's from the same um, Bed Bible Research Center. Right. And um, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, I... It was like these numbers were just like, wow, like, right, not you know, you never, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's really, but I don't know, um, how many people they, you know, what the number of people that they surveyed. Right. So I guess, you know, if you surveyed a thousand people, we'll just say a thousand people, then it said that between the 18 and 24 year old group, 72% of that age group had sex on the first date. Okay. 25 to 34 age group on the first date, 31% would have sex on the first date. 35 to 44 year olds was 39% on the first date. 45 to 54 year olds was also 39%. 54 to 65, only 34%. So it just went down just a little. And then 65 and over on the first date is like 25%. Right. So I'm assuming when the younger you are, the more outgoing and, and, and free you tend to be. Right. Because you're just, exper I think as you're experimenting. I think it's more right. of experimenting as you are right. younger. And then the way just stuff is going now, like sex is everywhere. Mm. So it's just kind of like. It's like kissing somebody. And starting young and like. Because I, and y'all, I don't care if y'all know this, but I was, what, 21 when I lost my virginity? And I know. That's amazing because some girls are as young right. as 11. Yeah, I, I was 21, right? Because you, I, I told you about it. I was yeah, 21, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You were yeah. 21. Yep. So I'm... that's good compared to 11 year olds people. now. Yeah. As young as 10. I think they're even as, as young as in, in elementary school now. Like right. fifth, sixth graders. Which is just kind of sad because it's like. What are you being exposed? It's like. Exactly. Yeah. You got to look at like what they're around, like their environment. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. I mean, if they're, if they, if they're watching TV all the time, if right. they're not, you know, it doesn't matter what they watch. Right. Exactly. Because there's a lot, I mean, every, just about everything is sexualized. Everything. Right. The music yeah. sexualized, the commercials are sexualized, the TV shows are sexualized. Even some of the cartoons that they have, they, into windows of sex. Right. So you can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. The magazines, everything. I mean, right. full fledged, you know, uh, yeah. A video, music videos. I right. mean, everything. And, and it's just like at that age, that shouldn't be something that you're I mean, worried I think, about. Like, I think the innocence of uh, is gone. Like why, why do right. people want the, the so young to, for it to be, taken away right. I, I, th I mean I'm, i can remember as a kid that's the last thing that i thought about all i want to do is go outside ride my bike play with my friends right. you know that kind of thing it wasn't about you know i mean i really did not even think about sex sex until <laughs> i know isn't that funny people always want to call when you are in the middle of something they never call you any other time but then as soon as you start doing something they want to call you <laughs> Anyway. Ah, it must be somebody she don't want to talk to. So we're going to move on to the questions. So why do you think sex is a priority in a relationship? Why do you think that? Um, or do you think it's a priority? Yes, I think it's a priority. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I can't really give like a a reason i guess you would say for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um it's just kind of the way that it is i feel like like it's just 
a part of human nature. You I think feel so? Like. You think so, so? It's, it's normal. Like it's yeah. it's natural. It's a desire, right? That That's one the way has. God intended it. So I just feel like it just kind of goes hand in hand, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I think it is a. I think it's it's a priority. They call it again? No, it's just a thing went off for something <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, this, is, this is what happens when you have a podcast that's so unscripted. It's just kind of like, you know, just whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I mean, for me, for um, sex to be a priority in a relationship, I think if you're two healthy adults, I mean, you should have sex on a regular basis until right. you literally can't have sex anymore, right. you know, as you get older. I mean, yeah. you literally should not have sex. Oh my gosh, with technical difficulties, mm -hmm. everything. Um, so yeah, for me, it's a, it's a, it is a priority yeah. and it should be something that, you know, you should incorporate it. And right. I think the both parties should want to have sex as much as possible. Right. You know, yeah. they, they should, they should enjoy themselves because I mean, you know, time flies like, it really, it really does. Yeah. Do you need to move the mic? No, I think it just got caught on my ear. Okay. But it's fine. Do you think people get bored having sex with one person? If you are immature and you still kind of want to play the field, mm -hmm. then yes. Okay. But if you're the type of person where whoever you're with, you know, this is who you want to be with. Like, mm -hmm. this is it. I'm satisfied. Because I honestly feel like if you're really in love with somebody mm -hmm. and you've been through different experiences and dealt with different people, then you really understand what it takes to be in a relationship. Being in a relationship, especially a committed relationship, long term, it's like a job. You know, mm -hmm. it takes work, you know, um, it, it, it takes two does. parties to um, be able to understand that, that, you know, that's how it is. That's what it takes. Yeah. So spice yeah. it up, go on dates, mm -hmm. do stuff like y'all just first met, you know, like that's what it takes, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, for me, it, you know, being, um, you know, a little age older than you, um, I think, um, I don't think people get bored if there's always excitement in the relationship that's not in the bedroom. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. if they're doing more than just sitting in front of the TV and that's their date night. Right. Like you have to have experiences that are not sexual in right. order for the sex to not be boring right. with one person. Yeah. And I think a lot of times you don't learn that until you get older or you have more experience, um, you know, in relationships that, yeah. you know, especially if you really want to be with that person, you really love that person, that you're going to do other things to make it exciting and spicy. I mean, foreplay is amazing. I mean, you can foreplay for a week and not have sex. And then when that, you know, that it just, that it just moves up, moves up. And then when you right. finally do have sex, then that the excitement is amazing. Right. So, yeah. So do you think it's important to have different experiences with one partner? And we just, I just kind of talked a little bit about that. When you say different experiences, you mean just as like, I mean, different experience. I mean, you can, I mean, like I said, when I remember I told you about the whole costume thing, that is an experience. You can have an experience like when you were teen, you know how like when you're a teenager, you had sex in the car or you went somewhere like on the beach and you had sex or somewhere you did when you were younger and you were experiencing sex with yes, someone. Yes, you have to. You, like, yeah. It's... You should, your imagination be, should be, you, just because you are either married or you are with this person. Right. You should do, you shouldn't just have sex in the bed. Like right. it should be like, I <laughs> go ahead. You spill, spill the beans, spill the tea. What you need to do? <laughs> you got to do it everywhere and anywhere. Like both of y'all just have to be down for whatever you like, do. You do. You have to. And that's how you know you found the perfect person. Like, mm -hmm. because I feel like if you're with somebody and you say, Hey, this is what I want. That communication has got to be there. They are going to be more than happy to accommodate. 
Yeah, they will. They, they should will. be. They're supposed to be. If that's the person for you, because... And a lot of times you shouldn't even matters. have to ask. Sometimes they just right. be like, you know, hey, let's go do this. They're right. very spontaneous. Do something risque. Yeah, spontaneous kind of thing. I right. mean, that, that's what makes it fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, I love, you know, we don't, I don't eat steak a lot of meat, but I don't like to eat it the same way. Even though I like steak, it's still steak. I want to spice it up. I want something different. I want right. it filleted. I want it boiled. I want it whatever, you know, that kind right. of thing. Go out to eat, eat steak somewhere. You yeah. know, you just, you, in order for you not to get, you can, have the same thing you just got to figure out how to spice it up and i think right. a lot of people are stuck in relationships and the sex is boring because their their life that they have created for them they right. have the house they have the kids they have the cars they have the job right so they have everything that they wanted but then they forget about okay well what about the two people who started it. We're, right. we're not exciting with each other anymore. Yeah. And so I think that's, you know, that's why we're talking about sex because it is, it's, it is a priority in a right. relationship, especially to keep the relationship going on right. fire. So what do you think attracts a woman to a man to have sex with him? <laughs> I guess it depends on the person, huh? Right, it it, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. Um, it depends on what you're looking for, but for me, like, I just really just you. Not only do I need to be physically attracted to you, but mm -hmm. there has to be some kind of connection. You just can't be some bimbo off the street, <laughs> like, because honestly, it's never that serious, like. It's important, but I feel like it's more You don't like casual it, sex. Right, and it matters mm -hmm. more. I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't because I have. But it wasn't fulfilling? Is that what you're saying? You, you saw the difference between um, the connection day right. and then the disconnected, right. detached. Right. And you're kind of like, it was like, mm, I know the difference. I, I, can, I know the difference. Right. Yeah. I mean, there was always a purpose behind it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, all of us experience that. All of us have, has, have right. experienced it. And, but for me, the attraction to have sex with a man, I mean, they have to intellectually stimulate me. Right. They have to um, mentally stimulate me. They have right. to emotionally stimulate me. Right. They have to spiritually stimulate me. And they have to physically stimulate me. Right. I mean, those are five important things for me. Right. Because if you can't, especially with being a woman, we, we are very emotional creatures. Right. And if we can't emotionally connect to you, then it's harder for, it is hard for us to, it's, yeah. it's hard for us to have sex. Or we don't, we, we don't, we're not, we're not like men. I mean, right. you know, men can just be like, think about sex because and then they get. Because it's more physical for them. But yeah. to me, it's just like. It's pointless. Like it's just a waste of time. It's just you adding on to your body count, or are you, you know, like there's nothing souls connection. There's nothing fulfilling mm -hmm. coming from it. So mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't recommend anybody just having sex. Like there's got to be a reason behind it because it's a mental thing as it is. well. It is, and the, and a lot of times women have a tendency to get more attached right. once they have sex with someone. And, um, yeah. And then, and, and then, and then, you know, you got to deal with all of that. Yeah. So yeah. And that's, yeah. Mm. Do you believe a woman can get sex any time more than a man? If she wants sex, do you think she can just call somebody up, a friend or whatever? She's more likely to get sex than a man is. That's I feel like it's probably both ways. You think so? Yeah, because I feel like men and women, it's easy, like I said, for, for, cause you gotta think about everybody's sexuality, not just heterosexual. I know. Um, and everybody's mindset is different. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's an equal playing field for, for both roles. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's, that's what I've heard that women can get sex anytime more than men and we're talking heterosexual um it's definitely e it's easier for women in general mm -hmm. 
just because you're a woman mm-hmm. and that alone is enough said. Like men will just bend over backwards when it comes to just the thought of them being able to be with someone, even if they know I can never really be with this person, but at least being able to be with them sexually is mm-hmm. enough for them. Yeah, you think you think so? With the, well, yeah, yeah, men, yeah, men. Yeah, for men, like it's easy. Like they don't care. Like it's excuse my language, but it's pussy, so they don't care. Yeah. Mm, that's kind of. <laughs> I know it's kind of like you know. I mean, I'm just saying it's because I know from experience. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and I think that's. I mean, I think that when a woman decides to just have sex because she maybe haven't had it in a while, right. you know, she may feel that way. Kind of right. like this guy, this guy yeah. is, he's accessible right? and, you know, I'm going to let him know that, hey, I just, I just had the urge. I feel like doing it and, you know, can we, and a man, a man more than likely is going to say yes, unless he's right. absolutely physically not attracted right. to her right. at all. Right. I mean, that's, you know, a guy has to have some physical attraction to a yeah. woman, I think, unless he just is either on, he's doing drugs or he's super drunk and he right. doesn't know. Right. But yeah, I think a lot of times, excuse me, women can get at sex they have more access to sex than heterosexual right the heterosexual world mm-hmm. i always try to stick because i i don't live that other life so right. i can't really talk about that life right so yeah so do you think women attach emotionally more than a man during sex um I'm going to say it's the equal playing field because I've been with guys that are like women in a sense, not as far as they're feminine, but Mm -hmm. all guys are not just dogs or just out for sex. Like they actually want to be with you and they feel that connection just as deeply as you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, it did. I mean, um, I, I didn't, I read, I read when I was doing the research, I did read up on it that women, um, do have a more of an emotional attachment than men do when they have sex. It's something about the, the chemicals that are, are released. And so women have a tendency to be more, um, emotionally connected to a man than a man has with a woman. Not saying that doesn't happen, right. but I'm just saying that we're more than we are more prone to be um, emotionally connected, and then yeah. that's that's harder. That's why it's harder for a woman to go through a breakup, or it's harder for a woman to, you know, not hear from this guy, right. you know, after they've had sex or whatever. So yeah, so you know, um, it is a difference in yeah. in the in this in the sex in the sexes. But when do you think a woman should have sex with a man? When do you when do you think? And when when she's in a relate when she is either dating or otherwise. <laughs> these are some hard, these are hard questions. No, these aren't these because I'm just like trying to relate it to my life. Like mm-hmm. I've like it it doesn't take me any time like. I just kind of know, like, I, I know from the jump, like, if you, if you, if, if a guy approaches me and mm-hmm. I know he's just not my type, I don't like the way he looks, whatever the case may be, I just kind of know. So mm-hmm. if I know that we have a connection and you're my type and this, that, and the third. Chances are it's going to happen sooner than yeah. later. Yeah, but it's mm-hmm. always turned into a relationship. It's never just been, I've never, I'm not going to say I've never been, but. I mean, that was only because I didn't want to be with that person. So it, it never went further than mm-hmm, what it did. Mm-hmm. But um, most of the time, like, I've been in a relationship with that person. That was it. So, I mean, I just, like, no. But, okay. yeah, I mean, I have yeah. I, you know what? I guess it just, it, like you said, it just, it really just depends. I mean, for right. me, it really just depends. Because, I mean, I do meet a lot of guys yeah. You know, uh, out and about, or I've talked, you know, talking to different guys and 
I'll be honest with you, they could be cute and be like my type and they say something and that's a complete like right, turn off saying, to me. Like, it's like it's like if I see when I first initially see you, oh yeah, I, I probably could do him. Right. And then when that when he starts talking or he starts saying something and I get agitated, oh it's I don't, I don't even wanna be bothered. Right. And so, yeah. So, but, you know, when do I think a woman should have sex with a man? I guess it depends on the relationship. It depends on the right. connection. It depends on how he is reacting to me. What kind of energy is he get, giving right. off to me? That will determine right. whether I want to have sex with him or not. If he's not giving me the um, connection that I want, mm -hmm. then it's kind of like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm right. not going to you know, I'm not going to put myself out there to get hurt. Right. Cause I mean, that's to me, if I have sex with a guy, I'm looking for to be with that person. Right. I'm not looking for, you know, one night stand, yeah. you know, because if I'm going to look for a one night stand with somebody, then the, 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 the credentials are going to have to be limitless. Like he's going to have to be everything that right. I possibly, you know, I, it might just be a dream kind of guy. Oh, right. I had sex with that guy. Right. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to just be no, just regular Joe right. Blow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why do you think a woman would be okay sharing a man with another woman? You know, they, I did some of the poly too, but I actually did a whole nother, I did write a whole nother thing out with all this, the statistics and all. And I'm just like, I don't want to right. lecture to the audience. I just kind of just like took, um, questions yeah. out of what I learned and just, you know, I just felt, I wanted to make it opinionated. I just wanted thoughts, not so much facts. Right. So, so you want me to read it or you remember? No, my thing is, okay, like, I've met people that just, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, it's very rare that you're going to come across people who are okay, um, that are in a monogamous relationship mm -hmm. with just sharing a partner or just sleeping with other people, even though they're in a one-person committed relationship. You have to kind of be in that life in order to be okay with it. So if they're in the poly, they're, they're in the poly or just their swingers mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. they just want to have an open relationship, you know? Um, and I've, I mean, I've come across people like that mm -hmm. and that's just not like something that I would do. I had a conver I had a conversation just, and I think yes, was it yesterday? I had a conversation. I'm about to, this, this wine has this bubbly bubbly, but I had a conversation with somebody yesterday about the whole poly and the whole sharing. First of all, I were don't they a part of no, 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 no. This is why we were talking about it. I don't, I don't even know how we got on the conversation, but, um, first of all, I don't share, I don't share, I don't share P I don't, I don't right. do that. First of all, it messes up your PhD anyway. So, PhD. Yeah. Your PhD. It messes it up. If you got, you got too many. If you got too many going inside, it, it messes it up. It's, right. it's, 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 yeah, it does. <laughs> but we were talking about that and I had to sit there and I said, I have been invited into poly relationships <laughs> numerous <laughs> times. Right. And I was just like, seriously? And I'm just like, for me, we are natural um, I think because, I mean, you look at children, I'm, I'm going to use this as an example. When you have a child and they become a toddler and they, you know, you start taking them on play dates, they have a tendency. They don't want to share, right? I don't want to share my toys. Why are you touching my stuff? So I, we, but you teach the child that you have to share, that you have to do. Right. I think it's a natural thing. It's natural for us not to want to share right. certain things. And I think that when a person is in poly, even though they claim they want to be, I feel like if that person starts having more feelings for this person more than the other person, it starts becoming a problem. That's what we were talking about. I think that sharing someone with someone else 
that other person is going to start having more fi- somebody's going to start having more feelings for the other person right. than the other person right. and then that's to me that's where the problem comes in and some people may sit there and say no it is it's not like that uh well then i guess maybe his his thing ain't that good <laughs> or something right. because are you doing all the work right and you just you're so desperate that you yeah. just said well i just need to stay in a relationship with a man right. I just can't, I personally can't, I cannot share. I can't, I, I can't do it. Right. It's not in my DNA to share because then I'd be wanting to knock everybody out. Right. Cause you know, I, you know, I can get, I'm, I'm a little rough around the edges, you know, not in, not intentionally. I wasn't raised that way, but you know, circumstances and, and experiences with low down men. You just let your emotions get the best of you. Yeah, and I, and I don't think it, I mean, but yeah, fortunately, it was during the time when there was, you know, we didn't have um, cameras, and we didn't have that. Nah, I can't do that crap now. Right. But yeah, I had my, I've had some toe to toe round around with people that I was in a relation, supposed to be in a one on one relationship, and I caught them, and I pretty much, I will just say that the female knew that she was a problem, and I let her know that she was the problem. Right. And I will just say that. I'm, that's all I'm saying is that it went down like big time down. You're, I'm telling you, your mom. You told me about this. Uh, I don't know if I told you about this, but I may have told you. Yeah, it was. It got really bad. This is when I lived in um, the Virginia area, in the DC area. Was it some with a drive-through? Well, no, that was when I was. That was much younger. That's when I was young, younger. No, this is that. That's that didn't have anything to do with that. That person called me the N word. I think you. I think you probably told me about. Yes, I went. Yeah, I went over to their apartment. You told me about it. And they were supposed to be at the club. And I remember because I remember telling you about us. A situation that I was in, and that's you went, you went to the room. Yeah, you went to their house, and somebody was in there. Right. Yeah, and it's like you know the thing of it is I find funny with guys. Guys are not as good at at hiding cheating as women are. A man, a woman can cheat for years on a man, and he will never know. Right. But a man, for some reason, he can't cheat right. Like he just. He just can't. I mean, some men probably could. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some men out there right. that probably have. Yeah. But I'm just saying that every single time that has happened to me, I found out because my intuition kicked in. Like, I was like, something is not right. right. And something isn't right. And I went and my, t- my intuition was dead on. Yeah. And it was just like, dang, you know, that's just. I think it's foul. I mean, if you don't want to be with somebody, just go ahead and just not be with them. Right. It's it's hard. It's a heartbreak. It's it's, but at least you are being enough respect for that human being's, mm-hmm. you know, their feelings. Yeah, and their time. Yeah, there. I mean, because I mean, it could be worse off. I mean, I don't know. Some People I mean can get over stuff, and they can. On, they you can. Gotta give them at least give them the decency to do it. Yeah, just give them the decency and 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 just, you know, ugh. I just like I said, I I never want to go back. It was an experience that I say that I've had and I can look back on it and say that wow, I was a gangster. <laughs> Woo-wee. And then, you know what's so sad about it is that he did nothing. He let me do whatever I wanted to to this girl, and he just stood there and did absolutely nothing. Nothing. So what does that say about him? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What does that say about him? He didn't care about that girl. Right. He didn't care. He didn't let her do. He just let me do whatever I wanted to do because I was pissed. Right. You know. So. Have you ever told a man he wasn't good in bed? No. <laughs> you said that right. Dang, oh, um, hey, girl, you guys, you every, oh, Lord, goodness, you have not experienced enough. I mean, that's good, I guess. Like, I mean, I guess it's good. <laughs> I mean, I've had my experiences, but, you know, like yeah. I said, it's mm-hmm. just, mm-hmm. fortunately, I wasn't with anybody that's been, like, bad and bad at work. Well, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and give a little story. And this is, this is back when I lived in D.C. and I worked for the federal government and I had a 
best friend. We worked for the army. And there was this guy that called himself liking me. So, you know, I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'll chill out, hang out with him or whatever. We'll talk and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, it got serious and, you know, things happen. I was like, I came back. It was so, cause I never talk about my sexual encounters that I had with other females. You just don't, there's something you just don't do. Right. And so I told my best friend at the time, I was like, man, he was the worst lay in the world. And she started laughing. And I was like, you want to find out? I said, you can go ahead and sleep with him if you want. That's how, that's how bad it was. What? That's how bad it was. I mean, I literally, I literally just was like, oh my God. Was he just boring? He, he was, was boring small? and he was small. Okay. He was yeah. small. He was small. Like tiny small. I kind of feel sorry for guys that are small because I don't know if there's anything that can do about it. No, probably not. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if they have, I mean, I guess if they have... You know, they have other kinds of sex um, um, operations. I'm sure they could make it bigger. I don't know. I guess I'd have to look that up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but it's but like, yeah. do you really want to go through that with somebody? I don't know. I mean, some men, I mean, <laughs> women get big boobs. Yeah, but that's different. No, not not for a man. Not, if, if, if he can't satisfy you, if, if he, he can't don't sat- like the fact that you have small boobs, he ain't even going to waste his time. But how do you know that he has a small penis until you know he has a small penis? You don't see it. If you care. If that's like a deal breaker for you and you like, I need to know. I don't know if I, you know, maybe that was my, maybe, well, I was young. And I, I mean, like I was real young. Really care. Like, I mean, I was like, I think I was like 23, 24. Okay. And I was kind of like, when I was just like, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm already here. So. Right. It was just, it was. It was a bad experience. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I... Yep. And I avoided, I avoided, you know, he was in the army. So he worked in the same building that I worked in. And every time I saw him, I would turn around and be like, oh my gosh, here he comes down there. And I, cause I couldn't, I, I was kind of immature about it. And so I would laugh. I would laugh. And he'd be like, what's so funny? Nothing. And I would be laughing. Me and me and my best friend would be laughing every time he walked by. Cause we would sit, they had a, they had like a cafeteria yeah. and we'd be always, we'd always sit down there and he would always come. What's his nationality? He was a black guy. He was black. Mm-hmm. He was a black guy. Okay. So I guess it's not always true about. No, black no, guys no, having... no, it's not true. I promise it's not. Uh, yeah. I promise it's not. Maybe it's the genetics. It's, it's probably the genetics more than likely, but mm-hmm. yeah. And when he would walk by and I just started laughing. <laughs> so you never told him? I never, I actually never told him in a direct way. So how did you get out of it? What do you mean? Just like I just told him, I said, I don't, I said, I don't think this relationship is going to work. So y'all were together or it was just kind of It was like, kind of like, it was kind of like, yeah, he was, you know, he, he'd come over to the house. We'd, you know, do stuff or whatever. And then I was like, oh, he seems like a cool guy, you know, and one thing led to another. And I was just like, so that was just after you, after that, that was a wrap. Yeah, it was a wrap for me. I was just kind of like, yeah, I just. Right. It's not you, it's me. No, I didn't even say that. I just said that, you know, I don't think this is going to work. Right. I mean, I'm very blunt. I think that's what. did he ask why? Of course he didn't. He may have, he may have got that from other girls as well. I mean, guys tend to see if they're small and a girl will say, well, you know, I don't really want to be in a relationship anymore with you. One in 10 times. They probably know that they, they're not that great. He must have been really small. I mean, you know, I, I guess, I mean, I don't know how to measure. Like, cause you don't want to sit here and say it's you. Like I said, I'm not going to, I mean, I, he was a nice guy, so I wasn't right. going to be mean about it. Right. Now, you if he was a complete, if he was a com- complete butthole, then I probably would have said, the reason why I don't want to be with you because your dad's mom. Right, exactly. That's why. You really want to know. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you don't I, want to hurt feelings, yeah. Yeah, you don't want, you don't, you, you try to be nice. I, I try to, and, and mm, yeah, so... Do you prefer a creative sexual partner? 
Does he has to, you know, be creative and you're not always the one saying, Hey, let's do this. Let's do that. Do you want him to be equal or do you like for him to, I just want somebody that's on my level. And what level is that? I think that's a little too personal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could be, it doesn't have to be sexual. Just that you could just be like, I'm a spontaneous, fun right. kind of person. Right. I like to do stuff on the cuff. Like, right. you know, yeah, you don't have to be, I it mean, doesn't I, be sexual. I definitely don't want it to be just typical, boring, basic. Like, like 5 p.m. We're having sex. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's date time. it's date night it's Saturday. Sure. Like, no. <laughs> we're going like, we're going out to eat and have dinner and then we're gonna come back and uh, hit the hay. <laughs> we're gonna go to bed at nine. So <laughs> we gotta get this thing done. <laughs> no, like, yeah. And after that I'll rub your feet. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like I like a guy who's creative. Right. I want someone that's creative that I don't always have to, you know, say, Hey, let's do this. Let's right. Do you don't that. always have to come up with everything. They're yeah. just as like risque. Yeah. You, you or know. he'll be like, he'll be like, look, I, you know, I got a hotel room and I'll, I'll tell you what, you wear this really beautiful red dress that right. I got for you. I got you some for Victoria's Secret. And so what I want you to do is that I want when you go to the hotel, it's at a bar, mm -hmm. you go sit at the bar and get you a drink or whatever. And I'm going to come and pick you up like you're a complete stranger. I mean, if a guy said that to me, I'd be like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, let's do yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do that. Let's pretend, let's just pretend like we're complete strangers. Right. Those are the kinds of things that, are, that to me, are creative. And not right. for me to always do it. Like for the guy to come up with scenarios, right. you know, and, and do stuff. Or, he, or he's like, ooh, I got this for you. I yeah. want you to wear it. And, right. you know. And I do like the whole, you know, the whole name thing and, and that kind of thing. And I told you I, I like um, S, is it S&M's? and ms and the, 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 S&S and S and Dominatrix. No, S, is it? Shit. I don't know. S and M's, S and M's. Yeah. Yeah. S and M's and Dominatrix. I, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm into all of that. Like, I love that. <laughs> I know, huh? Like, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I there's just, a lot of weirdos out there. I don't think it's stuff. weird. I don't think it's weird. I just think that it, it, it I don't think that part of it is weird. Not like role playing and like mm -hmm. making it exciting. But mm -hmm. There's some people out there that, you there's know, some, they some, really just into some freaky stuff. So like real freaky stuff. Right. Like being peed on friends. Oof. I can't even imagine what is the sexual arousement for that or even the other thing too ugh, ugh. you mean like pooping on yes ugh. now that see i you can pay me to do that just yeah that's just that and there's just, yeah there's some people that yeah like i'm just like, like i would feel i would feel some kind of way mm -hmm. i'm not the one getting shitted on but it's just kind of like yuck yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the arousal is, what where their mindset is at that point. And if you guys can hear a dog, there you're just gonna hear the dog. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that we can do mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So, would you say you're more attractive to masculine men or feminine men? <laughs> I already know the answer. Hell no. You gotta be masculine. I don't even care if you mean like. <laughs> No, hell no. Because I'm just like, you're too strong for if a feminine. You're, if feminine. you're feminine, mm -hmm. like to me, like I like I need a man that only wants to date women, and there should be. And we in Atlanta, so you will send out the wrong message to people. So mm -hmm. no, mm -mm. yeah, I'm the feminine one. So let me do my job, and you do your job. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. I don't. I don't like. Hell no. Yeah, feminine men or That's men that are, off. are um, what they call it, henpeck men. Yeah, where they just kind of just follow behind the their significant other, their partner, or their girlfriend, or whatever. It's like they don't. To me, a, to me, a masculine man is going to be a leader. Right. 
you know, there's, there's a role that a woman plays. Mm -hmm. Not sitting there saying she's behind the man. I mean, she right. is, you know, the reason why, you know, the, we have one less right. rib is him is because we're supposed to be by, you know, right. side by side, but he is masculine. He's, you know, he, he leads, Hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do that. What do you right. think about this? You know, he's always going to be the protector. He's always going to be the provider. He's always going right. to be that. And to me, having a, a sexual relationship with the masculine man brings out your femininity even more. Right. Like you are just so vulnerable with right. everything with right. him. He can tell you anything and it's just kind of like, okay. Yeah, you can bark like a dog. Right, exactly. You don't even care. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, get on all fours. Okay, baby. You want right. me to have my back arched? Right, exactly. <laughs> get all into it. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, you know, some women, I don't know, some women tend to, you know, some, I guess it depends on the woman, but right. some women like men that are more feminine, like they can boss them. I can't, if I'm around a man that, that I can boss around, he's going to get ran over. Like I'm going to take a steamroller and run right. him over. Right. Because I know that my personality is strong. It's right. strong. Any, anywhere that I go, I can walk into a room and everybody's kind of like, okay. Right. And I don't mean to, I'm just that, that way. Yeah, that's just your demeanor. Yeah, that's just, you know. So, yeah, of course, I love me a masculine man. Masculine. Yeah. Because then, you know, it, it brings out a different side of, of right. myself. You want to be weak in the knees. Like, you want mm -hmm. to be that woman that's just like, oh, my gosh, every time you see your man, it's mm -hmm. like, boy, <laughs> like, I'm with you. Like, I got you. Okay. <laughs> and he'd be like, come over here. He ain't playing by you. <laughs> that's well, what I need. What I tell you, you are, or you know, or, or like sometimes when you in there, you know, I like to choke. I told you to take them pants off. You got the pants on for. Are you, or do the little choke, the little choke? Yeah, I, I like that too. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, my mom is telling me stuff that I should not know about. Yeah, I do. And it's. I just do. I, I, I do like it. And I guess because I'm a strong natured woman, I, I need that somebody to dominate me. Right. You I want to be it. dominated. I want to be dominated. I, I but do. they got to be worthy. Oh, they got to be worthy. Like worthy. Right. I don't want to have to. I, I've, already, to I've already experienced enough unworthiness. Right. I, I got enough experience with that. Right. Enough. So. <laughs> We're just having fun here. We're having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. I know you guys are probably, you know, if you're, you know, watching this and it's like, nah, this, no, this is what I like. This is what I like. Girl, I know. I only like a masculine man. You know, right. that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I like, or I like a feminine man. I don't, or, or be like, mm, who likes feminine? You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. So what is the biggest sexual turnoff? A biggest sexual turnoff? Oh, Probably yeah. what you were saying. Just having a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's probably. That you think so? Because I feel like you can talk to somebody, especially if you're comfortable with yourself and he's mm -hmm. comfortable with himself. Mm -hmm. You can always mold people into what you want. I say, hey, let's do this and let's do that. They uh -huh. don't say yay or nay, but you know, if they really like you and they're really about you, then it w you know won't be an issue. But you gonna work with a small dick? No. <laughs> so. You notice I'm not even answering that that question. Right. Yeah. yeah. But see, you know, now you know, learning, learning. That's the first thing that I'm gonna look at. Like I like if I feel like that thing is is too small, right. we ain't, we're not doing it, and I don't care if I hurt your feelings at that point. I mean, right. I'm at that. I'm at when that happened back when I was in my twenties. Right. I was a little bit more naive kind of thing, but now it's kind of like no, no, it's not. It's not right. happening. This is not what I'm looking for. So uh, and and you know, that's. I think as a woman, it's better to be more direct with men. I I I that I feel that way. That's what I do. I'm more direct with men because I don't, I don't want you to think you're going to have a sexual relationship with me or be in a relationship with me. If I'm not telling you, that's what I want. Cause right. I'm, I'm just not men, men. I feel like men play with that. They're kind of like, Oh yeah, 
I like her enough to want to sleep with her, right. but not enough to want to be in a relationship with her. And they'll, they'll play that card game with her. But for me, I'm not playing that card game. If I want to be in a relationship with you, I may take it slow or may, you know, go through the process. But at the end, if I don't want to, you know, have sex with you at all, you're going to know it up front. Right. That no, this is, we just, we on a friend's level. Yeah. That's all it's ever, ever going to be. I don't care how long we are friends. Right. That's all. That's all. That's all. And I, yeah. and I think women are safer when they tell a guy up front than to play their game like they play games with us. Right. Because that's how I feel. I feel like, like men play games with women. They're, be, you know, beautiful women, but they, they, they just don't want to be tied down, I guess. You yeah. know, so yeah. So for me, what's the biggest sexual turnoff? Oh my gosh. Let's see. It's a, it's a number of things. A man who, um, the way he talks to me, if his conversation isn't stimulating, I'm sexually turned off. If a guy um, acts like a woman, when I say that, like, I had this guy, it was probably maybe, I don't know, maybe three months ago, I had met him, I was going shopping, mm -hmm. and he seemed like a really nice guy. He seemed real nice, and yeah. you know, I was, he was like, oh, well, you know, I would like to get to know you, can I have your number, blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, sure, you know, I don't mind, you know, because there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you, as far as your outer appearance. And I didn't even get in the car. He's and sexy? He's, yeah, he's texting me. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe he just wants to make sure that I, you know, you got his number. Yeah, or whatever. So I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm about to drive. I'll talk to you later. But it was nice to meet you. And that was it. Later on that night, he calls me. And this is when, as a matter of fact, Jillian was here visiting me at that time. And you were, you were still living uh, where you were at. And um, I'm like, he called. And I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll talk to him, see what he wants, that kind of thing. We talked and talked. And then it came up to almost 45 minutes. And I'm just like, look, I got my, I got my granddaughter with me. Um, I got to go. Well, I just want to tell you one more thing. And then, you know, and then he started <laughs> complaining about, he started telling me about his mother and his stepfather. Yeah. And he's like, you know, I take care of them and I do this and I do that. And I felt like that was kind of feminine to him, to me. Because to me, that's what a woman would do right. to a man. Right. Like if she was having some issues, she has a tendency to be more emotional, more communicative. And so I felt like he was, he had too much feminine energy for me. And, and then, you know, I was like, I got to go. And then um, I'm back with, you know, Jillian and we doing stuff. My phone rings again. It's him? Yes, it's him. And I'm just like. Can I, I didn't even answer the phone. I texted him. I was like, look, I told you that I am with my, you know, my granddaughter's with me for the weekend. What do you want? Well, I just wanted to tell you that <laughs> my, um, my, my stepfather called me this and said, I'm just like, seriously, you, this is what we're doing. I'm like, I just met you yesterday. And so I had to block him because he kept calling me. He kept, and now he was like, oh, I want you to come to my birthday. I want you to be my woman. And I was just like, dude, I literally just met you like 24 hours ago. Right. And I was like, that's too, that's too, that's, I was over, I was overloaded, you know, because as a, you know, as a, it, me being, you know, um, you know, empathy a lot, you know, I have a tendency to relate to people. Right. But yeah, that was just over. I was just like, you don't even look like you are acting right now. Right. And I was just like, no, you know, he was like, oh, well, I'm, you know, because he told me, you know, he's from New York or whatever. And I'm just like, you're from New York. Yeah. You acting like this? Like, I thought y'all were hardcore, like rough around and, you know, right. you know, uh, rough necks, right. you know, like I see, what is it? I see <laughs> MC Light song. <laughs> You remember the song, Rough Net? No, no, gosh. You were a little. Right. <laughs> you know, we saw that because of Timberlands and all that. You know, right. he had the whole get up. Right. And I was just like, nah, this ain't, this ain't for me. 
Right. This is not. I had to block. I had to block. I had to block him. So yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a definitely a sexual turnoff, and another sexual turnoff to me. And I'm and this is not even based on physical. Yeah. Um, it is more like the way they act, what they do. Yeah. Like if I am say like we're in a we're in a lounge or something, mm-hmm. we're hanging out, and the guy has no kind of. Um, I guess he's all about himself. Right. Like, like he, when he, he, you know, like food or drinks or whatever. And, you know, he's, he's not, I guess you can say, uh, we're, we're together. We're like in a group together, but he's like, you know, not waiting. He's like, Oh, you, you know, you, you can go ahead and go for the manners to me is a big deal. If a guy right. has no manners, right. that's a sexual turnoff right. for me as well. Yeah. Because you're not with your, you're not hanging out with your fellas like, you know, this is, I'm female. Why don't you, you know, treat me like a female? Yeah. That's how, you know, that's how, you know, I like it. And, you know, um, just, just a guy really just yeah. treating you, if you're going out on a date, just really treating you like a queen, mm-hmm. the woman, you know, opening the door, right. you know, um, I even like, you know, I can even, I've gone out where, you know, we got the menu and we're discussing what we wanted. If a guy takes the charge and say, she would like to get such and such. To me, I'm fine with that because we've already had the conversation before the, you know, the waiter or the server came up. Right. And, you know, it shows me that he can take charge on the little things. So that means if he can take charge on the little things, then I know that he's probably more than likely able to handle the bigger things. Right. So yeah, that I mean, there's a lot to me that goes into just deciding to have sex with a guy just because he looks good. There's no. there's more round, you know, stuff for right. me. So is that you know pretty much all you said was with the, was that with the? I mean, when it, <laughs> like obviously there, there's there's more to it, mm-hmm. but um, like I I just like to me that's. The main factor. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say the main factor, but well, I mean it definitely makes a difference. Yeah. When you're talking physical. Yeah. Okay. So is foreplay important to you? Yes. Okay. So do you like foreplay right before um, sex, or do is it something that you like that can go on? You know, maybe for hours, maybe, you know, for a week or just like build up to it. I mean, what is your, what is your, what is your definition of foreplay for you? Um, my thing is if you're already an affectionate type of man, Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of an all day thing, like, Mm -hmm. because that's just how y'all are with each other. Um, so, I mean, that's cool. Like. I've had that experience. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was only, yeah. <laughs> you reminiscing over there. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like foreplay is fun, mm. and it's just kind of like it's kind of gets past the point where it's not just the basic just like getting right to it yeah so yeah i feel like it didn't make a difference it kind of it's almost like a tease like a little appetizer like Mm -hmm. it's not just the mundane you know yeah right let's get right let's get right to it we're just doing it like no Mm -hmm. like tease me a little bit let's add some strawberries and and whipped cream like you You want to marinate i want to get dressed up Mm should i even do a trick for you on the pole we got (laughs) one like you know, like that, that type of thing, uh-huh. you know, cause it makes, it makes a difference. Cause you can just sleep with anybody, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, wham, bam. But, thank you, ma'am. Right. And then that's it. Y'all go about y'all separate ways. Boring. Right. right. Yeah. Boring. I'm like this. <sighs> right. I don't want I'm sleep. Right. Yeah. It's like, you don't have to worry about me ever, ever, right. ever, exactly. ever again. Right. Yeah. Cause I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, just without, you know, talking too much about my personal experiences, I definitely 
have dated guys um, that did not even know what foreplay was. Like, this must have been when you was like. They, they just like just wanted to. They just wanted to come over and you know chill for a little while, watch TV or whatever, and then it's like bam. Right. And I was just like, you know, like I said, I was young. I didn't, I didn't know, you know, a lot, a lot, but, um, you know, I just, as I, as I've matured, it's just kind of like, I already know right. like what I, what I like and what I don't like. So yeah, foreplay, foreplay for me can go for a week. Foreplay could be start in the morning. Um, foreplay can be on the telephone, you know, when you're, when you are communicating with that person at work, yeah. that's the type of foreplay, you know, that I like. Um, I mean, it could be, it could be anything um, to me, even memes. When you send memes to somebody that you want to be with and you send them certain things to me, that's a form of foreplay as well. Right. You know? Um, so yeah, I, I think it's important because it, 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 it spices and it keeps the relationship interesting. Right. And, you know, I, I always, I always think when you are in a monogamous relationship, you should always think of ways to, you know, keep, like we said, we said it before earlier to keep it spicy, especially right. if you are in a marriage, we'll say you've been married to somebody for 20, 30 years. Right. I mean, you got to keep doing something mm -hmm. to keep it. I mean, you know, because I mean, there's everyday life. Yes, there's everyday life, but you know, you still, I don't think I, like I said, I don't think a person, if a person can walk, they can have sex. That's how I see. That's how I see it. So you should have sex with the, as long as, you know, the day before you die, if, if it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I love, I mean, I love foreplay and any kind of, any kind of foreplay, yeah. not just, you know, just the, um, you know, regular old, right. oh, hey baby, how you doing now? That's, you know, that's fine, but I sometimes I'll it's gotta be, be more too. yeah, more creative. So, I mean, these, these questions are like, we're almost like kind of done. This is probably going to be one of our shortest podcasts that, yeah. that we've done. And, um, cause I did, like I said, I did write and had a lot of information, but it was, like I said, it was so much information. And I was like, you know, do I want to go that direction or do I want to do more question direction? Mm -hmm. And so I figured, you know, the question directions and people are more interested because they like to know people are, people like to know how you think about, especially sex. They like thinking that, you know, how you think about relationships or what kind of experience, oh, I've had that experience or whatever. Or even when we talked about, you know, the small packages, right. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of women that have dealt with men that had small packages and they, they love them, but right. they just was like, I, I it yeah, just, I just can't. Yeah, I can't I'm, deal with this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Or either every time we have sex after he leaves, I gotta, you know, I gotta go and satisfy myself. Right. You know, and that, I just think that I don't, I think that's sad. I, I think that a person, I don't think if you decide you want to be in a monogamous relationship for the rest of your life, you don't want to be in a boring right. relationship, sexual yeah. relationship with someone. Right. Because, you know, I, I think that brings on insecurities as well mm -hmm. when you do have a boring sex life. So like, kind of like if the, say that it's the female is the boring sexual partner. And so every time you go out and right. you go out with him and he's, every time a woman walks by, he's like this, that, that makes you, because you, you have to know that you're boring. You have to know when you are, right. when you are in a sexual relationship with someone, you have to know you're bored. You're bored. Yeah. You have to know you're just right. messing up all. <laughs> ah. I'm trying not for it to like go oh, out. Yeah. Well, you didn't. You should have had. You, you should have had it where it stayed open. Well, I took my battery thing off. Yeah. Well, like I said, you know, I I think that when you do have a you know a boring sex life, it's you know, it does bring on insecurities, yeah. kind of sorta. You know, yeah. even for even for the you know the the man. I know. I know. Because um, we only have a few more questions. But, um, I can't remember I had went out and had dinner with, um, another female and we were sitting at the table and the way we were sitting was that she was facing me this way. I was sitting. So the table was that way. 
and this couple came in and um, they walked by and it was, um, um, I'm assuming it was her father and they had two twins. Mm -hmm. They had two twins. And I guess he, they probably were maybe mid thirties or whatever. And for whatever reason, they were sitting cat a corner. So I could like, when I'm sitting here looking at the person I was having dinner with, I could see from my peripheral vision, Mm -hmm. you know, the guy kept looking at me. He kept looking at me and every single time, um, he would look at me, his wife, cause it probably was his wife. It was their kids. She turned around and just sit there and stare at me. Like, I'm just like, I, first of all, he's too young, y'all young couple. So, you know, and I'm just like, I thought it was funny. So I'm just like, what was he? What, why was he, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, well, if he, if he, cause to me personally, if that was going on and he, and every time I turn around, he, every time I looked at him and he was looking at another female, you know what I would have did? I'm going to need you to get up from where you sitting at. You sit over here and I'm going to sit there. Right. It's going to be a problem. But that's what we're going to do. But yeah, she just kept turning like it was my fault. Like. Right, like I'm over here talking to him or something. I'm not y'all server. No, I'm not. And so then when we walked, when we we actually left at the same time, mm. this girl, she would not, I was like, excuse me, she wouldn't even look at me. I said, but she was sitting there looking at me the whole time, but right. she would not look at me. It's like, I promise you, baby, right. I do not. First of all, I don't do that right. with, with that whole situation that you got right. going on, but I really don't want your man like yeah. you need to check him yeah not not me right. so, <laughs> I just think you know I just think that that you know um I, I I do think when you when you have a good and I'm not saying I mean it may not be the case men just have a tendency to have wandering eyes right I mean you know that's 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 how that's right. what I hear from other women I'm not sitting there saying that they don't or they do I'm just saying that other women have said that yeah we always seem to have a problem with, with our man. You know, what, what you looking at? Why are you looking at her or whatever? But um, right. I just, I just, I just thought it was funny. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. But uh, so do you initiate sex or does your partner? Both. Both. Okay. That was, that was the fastest question. The fastest answer to the question. You don't, you're not going to elaborate. You're not going to, you just, <laughs> I just, I've been trying to ask her questions where she can go into a little bit of detail, not even necessarily telling you stuff, but maybe how you think about it. But I mean, I can't really say like what my current situation. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, I mean, yes, both is the answer, but for me, I have been, well, in my 18 years that I was married, um, I mostly initiated the, I mostly initiated it. So, you know. Which you hated. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I hated it because I was, you know. It's just kind of like, it makes you feel some kind of way, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that the heat, I'm not saying that he never did, but it was just like, I think that my, I think it was because I have, as you. yeah, I think because I have much higher sex drive. Right. My sex drive is, is like super high. Yeah. Like it's, it's all, it, it, I just, it just is. Right. And it just, especially cause they always say, well, women, you know, women that are in their, their, um, childbearing years or they, you know, they have children, they have children. They, you know, they have a tendency to not want to, man, that didn't bother, that didn't stop me. Right. Put them kids to sleep. You're about to, right. you're about to go at it. Right. You know, and then, you know, it's, it's even, it's still, I, I think it's even gotten higher since then. Yeah. Because I don't, you know, I don't have to, you know, have to worry about all of that. No kids crying, no going into no rooms, right. none of that, that, yeah. but you know, I'm celibate now, but before yeah. that's what I'm just saying that, yeah, I... I feel like I, I want the guy to initiate it probably more, but I would give him a re I would always give reason to initiate. I don't know. I just, I guess I just, I guess some people, some women are just sexually. They're just, you can just, 
they can walk in a room and they just just drip with sex. They just right. they just they just so you know I don't know I don't know how to explain it. Like they have sex appeal. Yes, they they just sex appeal. It doesn't even they could be in a nun's outfit. Right. And there's something about them. They're just like wow. They're hot and heavy with just sex. Yeah. And you know I I. I I guess, you know, I think that that's a lot of guys are turned on, you know, by women, even though they may not have want to have a relationship with her. They just some women are just when they just like, dang, Mm -hmm. you know, so. But okay, the last question. Do you have a memorable sexual encounter? Of course, this would be a question. (laughs) I don't think these questions. Do you think these questions? I think I'll leave that up to the professional. Okay. Do you think our my questions were hard? Do you think they were hard? Do you think they were too invasive? Do you think that you know? I'm talking to somebody that's worked in the second the sex industry, but no, um, mm -mm, not anything meaningful, anyways. Okay. Oh my gosh, this this definitely is not a podcast for children. <laughs> Just not this episode. Anyway. Th- no. That well I always mark that. Make sure you post it put 18. Make sure you put explicit. Yeah, I definitely do that. And you know, I try not I we try we try not to be too explicit because we already know how you know, some sometimes some people can get away with it and other people can't. I mean, so. we're not showing any body parts. Things like they literally have to watch it in order to see. Like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But you know, words words go far. But you have to watch it. <laughs> you gotta watch it. Right. So let me see. Do you have any memorable sexual encounters? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Gosh, that means I'm You've got to have to if you thought about this question. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I got, I got some. I got some. I mean, I'm, let's see. I will just say, and this is, this is, I don't know. Uh, this is before, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't want to just be too explicit. Right. Let's see. Memorable. I'll just say okay. Done it in a park, in a public park, obviously in a car. Um, goodness gracious! In a swimming pool. Yeah, I know, huh? Uh, gosh, memorable. I mean, I, yeah, memorable. God. Did you ever have a rain experience? A rain? You know how like with the movies and stuff? Like you've been out in the rain? rain? Yeah. No. Not in the, not the actual outside rain. No. Right. Um, gosh, anything. So memorable. just public places. Yeah. But I'm trying to think anything that was But memorable. nothing like exciting outside of just the normal. No. I've had a, you know. I mean, my, my sexual life hasn't been super boring, but it hasn't been where I want it to be. The you level. Are. I feel like, yeah, that it only really matters when you're actually with somebody that you want to be with. That you really, really, really. Yeah, y'all that's both are like, yeah, like, and it's a whole dang vibe thing. Yeah. Like yeah. y'all like, Hey, this is what we doing. We going out, you know, I'm act like I'm picking you up type thing. Like how you were mm-hmm, talking about mm-hmm, earlier. Mm-hmm. Like to me, that's meaningful. Yeah. Because yeah. there's actual true love. Like It's pure. It's, it's pure. And it's, it's kind of beautiful. Right. I mean, I think, I think, I think, I think society has taken away the beauty of sex. It's just so kind of like, right. like eating a, a steak, shake, like, like no, eating a steak. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was good. Okay. And then you're yeah. done. Yeah, There's no beauty. Is, oh, right. There's no beauty in it. And I think yeah. that's probably why I picked this subject. Um, let's talk about sex because there's no, I, I feel like there's no beauty in it anymore. 
Right. And it, it makes it so sad. Yeah. Because I think the way sex was designed for two people to actually really enjoy themselves. Right. To the point of ecstasy is like, you know, and and that's something, like I said, that's something that I never experienced. Um, ecstasy of, like when you see in the movies where they're smoking a cigarette or mm-hmm. they're just like, you know, sleep for like hours because they're just exhausted. Mm. You know, it just, it just, they're completely drained of their sexual energy. Right. And I, and I, you know, that's, that's something that I think every woman should experience in her lifetime if she has not already. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, I, I, I know this one is short. I know that, you know, we just, we just touched on, you know, just a little bit. Cause I mean, we could, I could have went, I had, like I said, I had a whole, you know, dealing with, um, same sex, bisexual, that kind of thing. But I was like, eh, I really don't want to, I really don't want to touch on that just yeah. because, you know, if we had a guest that yeah, was it in that life, when, you know, in that lifestyle, yeah. they could have been, you know, more, um, they had an input. yeah, better input. And, um, you know, it'd be more authentic because it's coming for me. I'm, I'm looking on the outside inside. Cause I really don't know. All I can do is base everything on what I've experienced right. or what I've talked to other, you know, heterosexual females right. and their experiences. And of course your experiences. So, yeah. So I guess we will tune out until next week. Hopefully we have a guest next week. We will see. But you guys have a wonderful evening and we look forward to Candid Talk with you next week. And this is Lexi Love and Valentina versus Valentino. Go ahead and start the music and you guys have a great evening. <laughs> no, I need another drink. <laughs>